or welcome back to Bakes by Amal. If you're new here, I'm Amal and I was a finalist on Junior Bake Off 2019 and you've stumbled upon my YouTube channel where I show you how to make lots of cakes and sweet treats. In today's video, I'm decorating another cake. Surprise, surprise. But today I'm actually doing something a little bit special because I'm going to be showing you how to stack, decorate and assemble a two-tiered cake. So it's one big cake and then a smaller cake on top and I'm going to be showing you how to make sure the bottom cake does not eat the top cake and your cake stays up for the entire event or birthday or whatever you need it for. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my Instagram and Facebook at BakesGrowingMile and a sprinkle of glitter. Without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I've already crumb coated my tea cakes and if you want a more in-depth tutorial on that, I've got millions of them on my channel but I'll link a good one down below so you can see how I've done that. But I've got a eight inch three layer cake and a six inch four layer cake. And I've also got them sitting on an acrylic disc. It's one of these things. And this is the most important bit. For the six inch cake, you need to have a cake board underneath it. Just a small cake board that's smaller than the actual cake, but that's very, very important. And you'll see why later on. But I'm gonna start with the eight inch cake and I'm gonna do the final layer. So I'm gonna take it onto my turntable. As you can see, I've got a new one. Really big, nice new one. Got this from Ikea, if anyone wants to cop it. And I've also got a piece of toilet paper. Not toilet paper. <laughs> no, don't use toilet paper. I've got a piece of kitchen towel. And I've just made, um, I've just run it under some hot water or cold water, it doesn't really matter. And squeezed it out and it works as like a non-slip mat. So if you don't actually have a non-slip mat, you can use one of those. And then I've got an actual non-slip mat. And I've also got some equipment on the side. I've got my cake scraper, offset spatula and straight spatula. And to start, I'm gonna take my offset spatula and some pink buttercream. Again, if you want a buttercream recipe, I'll link that down below. I'm gonna take my acrylic disc, pop it on top and taking my Cake scraper, I'm just gonna go around. And now, taking my buttercream, I'm gonna start pressing on the buttercream underneath almost, the acrylic disc, to secure it into place. As you can see, I've gone all the way around the sides of the cake, and I'm gonna to switch to my straight palette knife, and just start layering on the buttercream in a really thick layer all across the cake. Like so. Right, and now that I've gone all the way around my cake, I'm gonna grab my cake scraper and start smoothing out the sides. And just removing any excess buttercream. Okay, and now that I've just about smoothed the cake out, I'm gonna run my um, cake scraper under some hot water, just so I can get a really, really smooth finish on the cake. I've just transferred this onto an old cake board, just so I can transfer it easily to and from the fridge. And now this is gonna go into the fridge for about two hours. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing for my six inch cake. So I've just gone ahead and taken the cake out of the fridge. I'm going to take the top acrylic disc off. So I've just got a really sharp paring knife and I'm gonna slide it underneath the disc. And I'm just gonna take my offset spatula, just scraping it off of here, just to do the top of the cake. And now that I've done the top, I'm just gonna brush in any excess. And now I'm going to get on with the watercolour effect and I've got 
got three colours here and I'm going to use these three colours to do the watercolour effect. I'll start with this kind of purpley pink and I'm going to apply a little bit to the cake, just here and there. Then going in with this small red colour, just doing the exact same thing. Lastly going in with the white. Once you've gone round and popped as many blobs as you want, you want to take your cake scraper and just start scraping away at it. And then again, if you want to go back over any bits with a colour, you can do that now. And just before I actually put it into the fridge, I'm gonna pop on the gold leaf. And this is what's gonna be able to, and um, you're gonna be able to see flecks of it through the stenciling. So you wanna pick the front of your cake, whichever side you think looks nicest. I quite like this bit. And just taking my gold leaf, I've gone ahead and done the exact same thing to my six inch cake. So my cake's been chilling in the fridge for about half an hour, so it's really firm to the touch now. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, yeah, excuse the white t-shirt. I got um, buttercream all over my old one, so I just quickly changed. But anyway, I'm gonna start doing my stencils. So I've got these really cool um, stencils. Just got them off Amazon, they're really cheap. And just a piece of plastic, really. And they've got a little cut out here. And I have actually made my own stencils before and I all I did was buy a roll of acetate which is like a thin, really um, bendy plastic and using an X-Acto knife I cut out my own design. To do the stencils what you want to do is basically put the stencil where you want it to go, kind of press it onto the cake and then taking your buttercream you want to grab some. You don't want to do an insanely thick layer, you want a fairly thin layer. And once you've got your layer on, you want to go ahead and smooth it out a little bit with your cake scraper. And when you peel it off, you should hopefully have a really nice design, just like that. So for this one, I'm doing another technique where you put a blob of buttercream on the bottom and you swipe up with your palette knife to create like a really nice kind of paintbrush effect. So to do that, I'm gonna use the same three colors as before. And starting with the white, I'm gonna take a blob of it on my palette knife. Pop it onto the cake and brush up like that. So now I'm going to show you how to stack the cake. It's really simple. So I've just got to put my bigger layer onto a cake board. And I've also got my smaller layer. And I've got a six inch cake board underneath this buttercream. So I've just flipped it on the other side so it's easier for me to flip it back onto the cake. But to start, I'm going to put the dowels in. So you can use a wooden stick or um, like you can get dowels or specialist, um, like they're made of plastic sticks that you can use to um, support your cake. But I just use these boba straws or bubble tea straws. So I'm going to start by inserting the boba straw into the cake. You want to make sure it's all the way in there and then take it out a bit and check where it, it sits. Okay. 
Right. And then you want to cut it to size. Like so. And you want to use this to cut the rest of them to size. And you just want to check that they're all roughly the same size. And then you want to start popping them around the cake. Then you can work on the next part, which is doing a central dowel down the entire cake. So you don't need to do this, but if you're traveling with this cake, I would really suggest doing it. So what I've done is I've cut a little hole into my cake board on the smaller cake, so I can stick the straw down the big cake and then into the small, well, down the small cake and then into the big cake. So first I'm just gonna align it with the hole so it will go in. And this is why it's good if you use a cold cake. and continue to press this straw in through the cake. Now I'm just gonna get on with the decorations. So in a piping bag, I've got some um, white chocolate drip ready. And you can find this bit, um, the recipe for this on my channel. I'll link it down below. And I'm not gonna go around the entire cake like I normally would, but I'm only gonna do little sections of it. See, I've just gone around the top to fix that all over. And now is the fun bit, it's the decorations. You can put anything you want anywhere. I'm gonna do some fresh flowers today, just a few. And if you wanna see how to um, correctly put fresh flowers onto a cake, I will link the YouTube video down below. So I'm gonna start by popping the cake topper in just as a grounding point for the rest of the stuff. Okay. And then around that, I'm gonna place some flowers. And then I'm gonna place a little macaron just on the side here. And I've got some buttercream. So I can stick anything like the macarons. I can do a few little dots here and there and cover anything that needs to be covered up. So that was the end of my two-tiered cake. I hope you enjoyed. I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button and the notification bell to always be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching.